I'm Dave Mercer. And I'm Matt Pangrak. Welcome to The Call, a weekly sport fishing debate show. We talk about hot topics in fishing. And this one was suggested by yourself, Panger. The current setup of high school fishing. Keep our call. I suggested it. I'm starting with it, Dave. This is a big time call. I'm saying it right off the bat. We got way too many boats on the water right now in every organization that does major high school fishing tournaments. But, but how it, is that not a good it, thing? It's I mean, as, dude, it's as simple it? as that. Listen, we'll st- I'll break it down from, a, from a, a basic level here. These are our, our young, impressionable anglers that you are trying to uh, initiate into a world that both you and I love and make our livings in. We're also trying to, to grow this industry of people who buy all this. You, you, right now, the way it is, there's just a, a high school tournament that had 430 boats in it in the championship. I'm looking at social media posts of kids that are asleep on the front deck before day two even took off. Now, you can look at that picture. Listen, they should be learning. They should be excited. They should be able to highlight. You're having to get to the ramp three hours early to launch 430 boats in the middle of June. You're not learning patterns. You're not learning how to fish. You're packed into a lake like sardines in it. And I get it. They're there to learn. They're there to have fun. And I think that the success of high school fishing is its own detriment right now because it needs to be blown up and rebuilt as educational, smaller fields, more streamlined paths so you don't end up with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boats. And therefore, you can focus on the education and you can focus on patterns and time on the water and learning and not just, hey, we made this championship. We're here. Now let's sit for three hours while the other 300 boats launch and drive to seven spots we wanted to fish where there's eight other teams sitting on it. It's good for everyone to go back and think and say, listen, we didn't know how big this was going to get. No one knew how big it was going to get, Dave. It's big. It's awesome. It's cool to see these kids that are able to go out like Seth Fighter and and, and Brandon Polinick and Jacob Wheeler and Kevin Van Dam and and, and live out their dreams and catch the five pounders. But we're not providing them with a really good format to do it in. It's oversaturated right now. But isn't that collegiate sports in general like i remember being a kid and making it to the track and field regional finals or whatever and and laying on a hill and waiting all day for your one event and make it worse the parents that have to sit there and watch kid after kid run and they really don't care about all those other kids it's like a christmas concert it's horrible as a parent you love watching your little kid play the tambourine and do whatever but i mean there's a lot of waiting that is kind of the collegiate program and i think also what you're seeing is just what we're seeing on a national level on at any age group. I mean, fishing is exploding and all that's going through my mind is I believe the children are the future. Teach them well and let them show the way. Dave, when Dude, you're, at run- one point, when you're running the hundred meter though, you could have a thousand kids, but guess what? When that, when that gun goes off and you're running, you don't have 75 kids in front of you that are also trying to run the same hundred meter that's slowing you down and costing you time. You're not able to, you, 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 the playing field, no matter how many kids there are in other sports, there's still nine guys on the ball diamond, 11 guys on the football field, one guy on each golf hole, one person running that race. It's not like that in fishing. The playing field gets more clogged up. You do, facts, you do facts of fishing. You do educational things. You know, you talk to guys every week that talk about fishing pressure on the, uh, the Bassmaster Elite Series and the smaller fields and the difference between the Opens and the Bassmaster Elite Series and these events. I think you're teaching bad habits to young kids and instead of allowing them to flourish and grow in smaller fields where, yeah, you might not have 430 teams that make the national championship. You might just have 150, but those kids that didn't make it are going to have a much more pleasant experience and educational experience and grow as anglers throughout their high school career because they're not going to be packed on these fisheries just to say, Hey, we qualified for this event. I can't stop thinking about people that, that once looked at high school fishing and laughed at it and said that there's no way that it would be a thing. I mean, oh, to it's me, a thing. it's like, great. That's too big of a thing right now, Dave. But how, how do you fix that? I mean, you, you've got, 
it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like you have field size, you have structure size to it. I think it's irresponsible for MLF or Bass or any other organization that holds massive high school tournaments to put 460 or 500 kids in the middle of summer on a lake. And then all you hear about are the confrontations that go on and the long lines that it took and all that. Like it's, it's, it's too good of a program. It is too beneficial for the industry. These kids are the future. I, the kids have just fished in Pickwick and the kids are going to fish in the, in the BASS national championship within five years, within five years, Dave, multiple anglers out of those fields will be on the Bassmaster lead series and crossing the Bassmaster classic stage or the red crest stage. Yeah. Yeah. And, but, but uh, isn't that what fishing is though? Like when you're saying, cause call college fishing is going through the same thing. Right. And you've got, there's no limit on how many teams you put into an event and, and things like that. I mean, last year, I know there was an event that collegiate anglers drove to and they were just told you can't get in this event. You're cut off. But, but with that in mind, isn't that, what makes fishing so special? It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what race, what sex, what physical ability you are. You can make it in this sport. And, and we tell that story all the time over and over. So how do you turn an off switch? You know what I mean? It's like not an off. I'm talking about these top, these big giant ones. Just have a streamlined path with maximum number of boats thought out. And I understand you have school year that has to get in. So you have a lot of these tournaments. They all try to get it done in between May and September when the school year comes back in session. But I, I after I can't tell t- everyone, every person I've talked to, no one is anti high school fishing that I, that I talk no. to professional angler, regional angler, local angler. I haven't talked to one person that's like, man, I love these lakes that are just slammed full of, of frustrated high school kids who can't find a place to fish because there's three other tournaments going on and a 400 boat high school tournament going on. I don't think anyone benefits from that. I don't think that the, what the program was designed for, education, learning, building anglers, ethics, finding your passion, I don't think that that is served in giant, massive field tournaments. I think it's a matter of, matter of just survival. And yeah, we went there and we did it. And I think you're losing a lot of kids in the cracks who aren't going to come back because of this. Whereas if they could compete in this smaller where it's, it's a lot easier for them to move around and learn without the massive pressure of world championship, national championship, things like that. And you're still going to have the, the people who succeed, the guys who win, the teams that make it to the national championship. Just not... Everybody. I, I get, I'm always in favor of making championships smaller, including the Bassmaster Classic. The, the least amount of people that make it, the, the more prestigious an event gets. But I just think at that stage, it's not a, you're trying to get people into the sport. We, we, when I was a kid, I, I, in my locker in high school, I legitimately had a Hank Parker picture of him when he won the trophy. And I remember I would open my locker and my buddies had pictures and it was literally a picture of Hank Parker with the trophy, the fireworks and everything. That was the picture in my locker, but I was a total weirdo. Like when people saw me with a picture of Hank Parker, they're like, Hank who, but now we're in a time where there's an overabundance of people. I get it, but I just feel like it's growing pains and it will take care of itself eventually. But I mean, there's so much positive. You can't put any negative on it, is my take. But, I mean, you hate children, I think. Just look at the Little League World Series. A lot of kids that play baseball, there's very few that get to the Little League World Series, but there's a ton that learn the fundamentals of baseball. They don't have to do it at the Little League World Series. They can do it in their local Little League, in the states, in the regionals, whatever, however the steps are up there. But But I don't think... This isn't that, dude. We're living and in a how time where there's that? more broken homes. There's less people being introduced to fishing at home today than I'm, there was 20 years ago. The same number ago. of people get introduced to fishing, Dave. It's just more of the kids actually have a chance to enjoy it. The same, right. the, the cream rises to the top. It's just a smaller field. It's just, it, it's less attendance and more learning and education and growing as anglers. So you're, you're all for it. You just want oh, it I'm to be less. I'm 100% for it. Yeah, they started the casting kids. That's the only reason I'm in this deal is because of a youth program that Bass started. 
1998. That's it. I fish collegiately. I love, I, I, I'm all for it. That's why I think it needs to be redone. If I didn't care about it, I wouldn't care. I mean, aside from potentially what it does to a fishery. Well, you said nobody's catching fish anyway. So what does it matter? They're all on top of each other. So it can't affect what a is fishery. Was that a Yogi Berra thing? What? The place is so crowded. No one goes there anymore. I don't know. It doesn't matter what we think. As always, let us know what you think. Keep our call. The current high school fishing program. I believe the children of the future. Not the program, the format. format. Teach them well and let them show the way. You mean show them like all the beauty they fishing. possess inside. I do not want to call high school fishing. Is there a chance? And you also didn't come out with your side on it either. I, I don't have a side, dude. I told you it's all about the kids, and I think we're in an amazing spot that we have. There's too many freaking kids, dude. Like, I, I mean, in so my lifetime, it's me. gone from Call a no the current kids. format and no, work no. on it so these all these kids could get it. I agree with that in everything. That's like just there's nothing on earth. It works that you in every other better. sport. Everything like you should ELE, try to everybody improve. Everybody loves everybody in the high school fishing thing. Just the more in the championship, the better right now. All right. Well. We'll find out what our fine viewers have to say.